What can I get you today, sir? I need an espresso latte extra foam no fat cinnamon swirl and make it a grande. What the hell did he just say? Was that supposed to be a coffee order? And is he even a man? Greetings folks. I just wanted to talk a minute about coffee. That wondrous elixir that keeps this country great. Let's start at the beginning, when coffee was shipped over from Colombia along with opium. No brands, just sweet, sweet brown beans in a burlap bag. Cowboys would brew their coffee over an open fire and drink it out of a scalding, battered tin cup. No sugar, no cream, just hot black joe. Then in more modern times there was a true American hero. Right up there with Johnny Appleseed. Juan Valdez. Let's take a moment and consider his life. In Colombia, every night new coffee beans ripen. And for Juan Valdez, every day is a day to pick by hand. Only those coffee beans which are ready. Each day one leaves the fields and prepares to harvest again. For in Colombia, the richest coffee in the world never rests. 100% Colombian coffee. The official coffee of Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Thank you, madam. Juan Valdez. We shall miss you, my friend. Cause I don't know what the hell I just ordered. But I do know this. That I just paid nine dollars for something I can't pronounce and took longer to order than it will to drink. Whatever this is, it's definitely not Folgers in my cup. At 5 a.m., all the Millers can think about is that first get you going cup of coffee. That eye opening filled the aroma of Folgers crystals. It all begins with mountain grown beans, fresh brewed, then crystallized. For a deep, dark, rich coffee just waiting to become your welcome to the day. There's no other coffee that kicks off the Miller's morning like Folgers Crystals. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup.